Hi YouTube, my name's Jeff and I run a website called vegalcar.co.uk. I take ordinary waste vegetable, I clean it and I run my car on it. Today I'm going to answer a very commonly asked question and that is what is a two tank system? Well, when it comes to vegetable motoring, as you can imagine, a two tank system is exactly that. It's a system using two tanks. But what are the two tanks? Well, obviously the one tank is that that exists within the vehicle itself, the existing vehicle's fuel tank. The second tank is usually a smaller plastic device for safety and it's hidden somewhere about the vehicle. Um, you can see here actually some examples of smaller tanks being fitted to vehicles or that these were fitted by diesel veg back in the days when they existed and even though those guys are no longer trading they've left their website online as a free source of information for veg oil motoring so please do check out, check out their website dieselveg.com so why do we need two tanks well it's all about the injection pump and what the injection pump can handle if the injection pump is up to the job you only need a one tank system if the injection pump isn't up to the job it's going to need a bit of help and whether or not it's up to the job really is down to the individual vehicle, the make of the pump itself. And that's a subject for another video, I think. But we're talking about the two tank system. So what is the two tank system? Well, essentially, it's a means of switching between ordinary diesel and vegetable oil. It's a way of introducing vegetable oil to the injection pump which won't be such a shock to its system. So how do we reduce the shock to the injector pump? We do this by heating the vegetable oil. Cold vegetable oil is very viscous and it's very thick, it's not very runny. Now diesel has very similar properties to water. If you get a glass of diesel and throw it on a surface you'll see that it's just as fluid, just as liquid as water is. Do the same with cold vegetable oil and you'll see it's quite gloopy, it doesn't move in the same way, it hasn't got the same viscal properties as diesel. However when you heat vegetable oil, if you've ever looked inside a chip pan when you're cooking chips, you'll see that hot vegetable oil has very similar properties to water, it's very runny. It's not very viscous at all, it's, it's wonderful fluid stuff and that's perfect for an injection pump. So there you have it. What do we need the two tanks for? We need to be able to introduce vegetable oil at a hot temperature to the injector pump. So we have to heat the vegetable oil first. So let's have a look at a typical setup. Now this setup is courtesy of Diesel Veg once again. I used to use this model to show their customers beforehand. Uh, as you can see, right at the very bottom there, you've got two tanks. One representing your vehicle's tank, where your diesel would live, one representing the veg oil. Okay, that's the reason. Now you've got a few filters in there. We'll ignore filters for a moment. Now the important things to be looking at is the heat exchanger, which sits right in the middle of the, the, that photo there. At the very top right hand corner is the injector pump little across on there are the injectors and coming down the left hand side of the photo you can see that the switching system itself so what happens here is your vehicle starts first thing in the morning it's nice and cold it's been there overnight all that metal it's cooled off so we want to start the vehicle on diesel okay engines running it's happy you're driving down the road as you're driving along the vehicle's getting warmer and warmer and warmer. That temperature is translated through the heat exchange to the vegetable oil. So the vegetable oil is starting to get warm in those pipes. Once it reaches the nice ideal temperature, you can hit a switch on the dashboard of your car, turn on the vegetable oil, and at that point the switching valve kicks in, turns off the diesel, turns on the vegetable oil, and then vegetable oil is introduced hot now into the injection pump which forces it through into the injectors which squirts into your engine and applies your engine so the whole thing becomes a very seamless transition from diesel to vegetable oil 
you know, running on vegetable oil. Hey, great stuff. You know, doing the planet a favour. However, when you come to your journey's end, you need to stop and say to yourself, if I take my time when I'm at the shops or what have you, I'm going to come back to a cold engine, and that's no good at all. So when you come to the journey's end, you need to switch back to diesel. Same thing again, inside the vehicle, flip the switch, switching valve kicks in, turns off the vegetable oil, turns on the diesel, run the engine for a couple of minutes so that all the diesel is into the, the pipes, into the injection pump, so that when you start the vehicle the very next day, or you know, a couple of hours later on, whatever it may be, the engine is going to start because the diesel pump is already full of diesel which is nice and easy for it. We're making life easy on the injection pump. And that's it. Why do we need a two tank system? Because we want to make life easy for the injection pump. We want it to run efficiently. We want the engine to run smoothly. So the two tank system, it takes diesel, introduces that to a cold injection pump, heats up the vegetable oil until it's at a suitable temperature, then introduces that to the injection pump where the injection pump runs happily again the two tank system then switches back at the end of the journey reintroducing diesel back into the injection pump for easy starting next time so that's it in a nutshell the two tank system i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was fairly clear if you've got any questions about it, please do let me know. Have a look on my website, www.vegilcar.co.uk. And please do subscribe to my videos as it helps me to spread the good word about Vegil motoring. Thank you.